Today, we're going to be fighting every boss in Bloxford, but our sword is going to upgrade after every single one. And we're starting with the default katana against the Gorilla King. Now, every single one of my swords does have like an enchantment, so some bosses are going to be a lot easier than others. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. S slash. Ooh, okay, honestly, not too bad. But this is where things low-key get impossible. We have got to fight a Chop Chop Fruit with a sword. Oh, wait. Okay, I can hurt him. Only just, we're going to have to defeat him with burn damage, and that's it. And like always with this challenge, to make it not super easy, I'm matching my stats to be the exact same as the boss, or else it'll just be too easy. However, if I die at all to any of these bosses, then I have to go into a public server and gift anybody their dream permanent fruits. And look, I'm all down for giving gifts, but that's going to be a lot of Robux. Second boss down. We're already on our final common sword, the Cutlass. And we gotta fight the sword. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna go well. The sword is so bad. Okay, wait for him to do that. S slash. Wow, that was mid. Now, honestly, these bosses at the start are gonna be pretty easy. But later on, it's gonna get crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, about it being easy. Maybe not for this one. All right, as long as I don't play like a lunatic, I should be able to do this. He's a red. Come on. I'm going in. I'm going in. I don't even care. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get me out, get me out, get me out. This lightning enchantment is doing nothing yet. Yes. All right, next boss. We're off to the snow island next. And honestly, th there's like no way I lose to this next boss. No way. To defeat the Yeti boss, we get access to, I mean, this doesn't feel right, but twin hooks. Oh, they've got ice on them as well. Yeah, I don't lose this. If I keep him frozen, he just can't keep up. Prehistoric punts into a tornado. Oh, he's gone. There we go. Yeti down. I'm not giving away a single perm fruit. We've got the triple katana against mob leader. And look, he's only got one sword. You know, his is like arguably a much worse version of mine. My triple katana also has like a curse on it. But it's like the curse that gives me regen when I do damage. So it's pretty good. And there he goes. Next up, we're on Marine Fort to fight the Vice Admiral with the Shark Saw. Which honestly should be more than good enough to like take this guy down. So this thing's new like attacks actually kind of clean. Now we're also going to have to like come back to this island pretty soon for another... What the... What... What just happened? For another boss, who's gonna be much harder than this guy. Because that was pretty easy. Saber Ag- Why is he already swinging at me? I've only just got over here, and I've only got a mace to take him down. Wow, I'm being folded. I just got destroyed! What was that? That doesn't make sense. He like three shot me. Are you? Where's he going? All right, he's gone. I asked him what his favorite fruit was, and he's just disappeared. Are you serious? Now he responds, Kitsune. <sighs> There we go. There's this permanent kitsune. I regret this already. I'm trying to start up the next one. I haven't even, like, upgraded my sword yet. Why are they attacking? Oh my god, wait. I've got a curse. That's why. I figured out why I'm just being attacked for no reason. Why everybody's on smoke. Warden sword. Who am I fighting? Oh, I'm fighting the warden with the warden sword. That's quite cool. What the heck? <laughs> All right, this doesn't count. I need to reset these guys. Wait, they're, they're actually just broken. I need to find a way to defeat the warden. Oh, yeah, my curse while dodging all the other ones. I can do this. And then I can upgrade my sword as well. I can do this. I just gotta pull them like really far this way. Swan, respawn already. How are you still here? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, he respawned. Now we go up top. Boom. All right, warden's getting low. Oh, the ice is coming in clutch. All right, I'm trying my hardest not to hit the chief warden, but it is what it is. I'm doing it. Bam, bop, pow. Yes. Okay, let's upgrade my sword. Next sword is the trident. We got water pulse. I forgot what this does. Not too much and trident throw. Wait, what is going... Oh, I'm using like chain lightning. There we go. Trident used. And now we can upgrade again to the soul cane. I'm a bit low HP, but I'm sure this will be fine. Ow, ow. Soul beam. Nice. He's already on yellow. If I can hit the left clicks, it does so much damage. He's being destroyed. All right, you think you use that move on me? No, no, no. There you go. Soul slashes. Oh, prison was stressful. All because of that curse on my mace. Our next upgrade is the pipe. And we've got a fire enchantment on the magma admiral. Gotta activate Haki for this one. Yep, we are somehow... <laughs> he's taking burn damage somehow, despite the fact that he's made out of magma. All right, we've already done a ton of damage. I also completely forgot to match my stats as well. So this damage I've done already is just like nerfed damage as well. Dragon Blast. Boom. Oh, this pipe is so cool. It's not doing enough damage though. What is this? Oh, he's red. Oh, wait, actually, that was easy. But how about the next boss? He does not look as easy. In fact, we have to defeat him with the longsword. Now, I have got ice on my longsword, so he won't be able to, like, attack as fast or, like, walk towards me as fast, which is quite good. I just need to, like, use the longsword from a range, like this. All right, yeah, I can, I can just, like, do this cheeky, like, strat here. And then when he tries to... Come on. There we go. Wait for him. And then smash! He's already transformed. Wait, I got this. I got this. This is totally fine. There's nothing to worry about here. Swords are so risky. Oh, he's low. Oh, he's really low. Glorious smash. Annihilate! Light work. Who would have thought? The more we upgrade our sword, the easier it gets. At least it sort of seems easier. Smoke apparition. Oh! Nearly just teleported into a rocket. He's low, though. 
Oh, that one, I was too close. Next boss, Thunder God. Arguably one of the harder bosses in the first C, especially with a sword. But he's nowhere near as tough as one of the bosses we're going to be fighting in the first C soon. To fight him, we've got the Gravity Cane as well. Wait, this might actually be easier. Start off with a Lunar Blitz. Look at that. Oh, no, I pulled him in. Oh, wait, it's Jova. I can't use my Z move. Wait, unless... Yeah, I gotta do that. I can only use my Z from the air. It's the only way I can use it without just, like, getting hit. He has got close range attacks, which is a little scary. But this is fine. Get over here. Yoink. Luna Blitz for the finish. Nope, he's still alive. Not for long, though. All right, next up is Cyborg. We gotta go all the way to Fountain. All right, I've made it. Dual-headed blade this is my next weapon. The sword is honestly, like, pretty slept on. Probably because it's mid. But I've got, like, a really good enchantment on it. So I shouldn't need to worry too much. All right, that just did, like, all my health. Starting to worry a little bit now. He's nearly half. Assassinate. Raging wind. Nice. He's below half. Wait, I'm kind of low. No, 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 no. Ah. What? Wait, I'm flabbergasted. I was like mid dodge and he still, he predicted where I was going and hit me. I just completely threw. And now I have to go give away a perm. I didn't think I would have had to do this twice already. Let's see what we're giving away this time. We got a response. This guy, he says his favorite fruit is Buddha. I like this guy. I can get behind Buddha being a favorite fruit because it's not as bad as Kitsune. There we go. There's his perm Buddha. Yippee. My sword has upgraded into a dragon trident to fight against Greybeard. I am going to do such a good job at doing this. We've done 3k damage. Wow. I've matched his level 7. 50. But honestly, it's just not good enough. Even if I dodge and weave like this, I think I accidentally just killed a player. Why is Vice Admiral here? What was he? He just messed me up. He's sabotaging me. Oh, there's more players here. Help me. Well, actually, if they don't help me, then they get a free perm. So it's like, it's up to them, really. All right, if I just play like this, ultra cringe. Is that the waves? Is that the waves? I'm not seeing any waves. Okay, no tsunamis. It's taken me actually hours to find this boss. I'm not losing now. For you guys, it's just in order. But for me, this has been hours of waiting. Yes, yes, come this way. Come this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, one of these. Ah! Oh, nearly fell in the water. I've nearly done 100k. If I had a better sword, it would be so easy. Hey, you, distract him. Nice. Good distraction. Where'd the boss go? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let me cook. No, no, no. Please don't respawn. Please. No, no. Where is he? He's there. I've got no energy. Oh, I forgot about that. Genuinely, I forgot that was a stat. He's nearly half. I've done all of this work just to get him to half. I don't have energy. Not like this. Wait, I've got an idea. If I hit the mobs, then it can, like, transfer to Greybeard. Oh, no. Oh, no. He finally used it. He's bringing out the big guns. I now need to, like, play as zoomed out as I can to try and dodge the waves. I don't know who this is, but if if I die, I will give you a perm because you're helping me so much. You know what? If I survive, I'll give you a perm as well. So please clutch up. Again, game, I don't need the triple health bar. No! I got him down to 130k. Hey, you. What's your favorite fruit? I need to know. I must have answers. All right, I don't think this guy knows how to type. Oh, no. He's Russian. You know what? He seems to like the rubber fruit, you know? That looks like his favorite. So here we go. That's his permanent rubber. Now we've done that and lost, we can move on to the second C, where hopefully it might get a little bit easier. Diamond is the next boss we're fighting. And actually, we can now move on to legendary swords. And if I happen to run out of swords before we defeat all the bosses, then I have to start again from the beginning. We prestige. Our sword will prestige. Honestly, Yama with the flame enchantment is so OP. Like, this sword is so good. And as long as I avoid, like, most of the damage, I should be, like, completely fine here. Infernal Hurricane. Hellish Slash. I sent him to the moon. Where'd he get? There he is. It's Jova. Jeremy, sit. Oh, wait. No, that's Diamond. I keep calling him Jeremy. Jeremy's the next boss we gotta fold. And to do that, our sword is upgrading into Wando. One of the true triple katanas. Looks pretty clean, actually. This one is the actual Jeremy. And this boss shouldn't be too much of a problem. Especially when, yeah, the damage of Wando is just so nice. And the fact that I can just stun him with all that as well is so clean. And now Dragon Gust. He's already below half. Oh, now that we're at Legendary Swords, it is nice. We'll continue a slight... What? How'd he do that? He just broke the game. All right, final hit. You're done, Jeremy. Oh, we got a black spiky coat as well. Where are we going now? I think we head over there and next boss we fight is actually Fajita. Hello, Fajita. To defeat him, our sword is upgraded into Tushita, one of the cursed dual katanas. The problem with all these different swords is I forget which ones are hold move. Where's my health gone? All right, I'm gonna chill over here a little bit and regen. Wait, what if I play it a little bit risky and do this? Oh no, get away! Celestial Ravager. That move is so clean. Wait, attempt number two? Why did you do that again? Why? Why? Genuinely, where has my health gone? I feel like I'm being scammed. Wait, you can't, surely you can't do two in a row. That's what I thought. I've got an idea. Get momentum. We. And then run away because you use the meteors. Wait, if I just stay in the air, I should be fine. 
Boom! Yes! All right. Our next sword upgrade is actually the spiky trident, which is normally like a really good sword to get. But the boss we got to use this on is going to destroy us. Here it is. Don Swan. We've already fought him once, but that was before he decided to become a demon. Our damage isn't bad. Like one combo. Wait, one combo. No. Did that much. Not bad. Wait, hold on. My spiky trident does so much damage. Ah! What? what was that? I pulled him towards me and he melted my HP. He was supposed to be stunned. All right, let's see who we're giving a perm kitsune to this time. Ah, Luffy. He says his favorite fruit is kitsune, but I don't have it though. Oh, that's so sad. Well, luckily for you, you get a free perm kitsune. All right, here goes. The next boss on the list is Darkbeard. And our sword upgraded to Shisui, which is kind of perfect because this sword does a lot of damage. Oh, it does not do enough to block that, though. All right, actually, this is kind of tough. All right, he's down. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Oh, this boss is ridiculous. What is this? When I did this, but my fruit upgraded, this was so much easier because I think I had, like, love. But the close range is not good. I've already done 50k. Bruh. We've done a sixth of his entire HP. No! Bruh. So annoying how you just can't dodge that. It's like, sucks you in. Hit and run. Hit and run. He's getting lower. What? No, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. I can still do this. Nearly halfway. I've been fighting. No! I was looking at how long I'd been fighting him for. Bruh. I just wasted 10 minutes of my life just to die at halfway. All right, let me ask him. What's your favorite fruit? I want to know what his favorite fruit in the game is, and then I'll buy him the perm. Ah, I thought I'd be able to do that one. Shisui just ain't it. Well, I do like leopard, dragon, and kitsune. You know what? I can't gift dragon. I'll gift him a perm leopard. Actually, then again, I did say I'll gift everything that they say. So I have I gotta have to gift both of them. There we go. Can't gift dragon because it's broken. But there we go. All right, next boss. I'm kind of sad that I'm having to waste this sword right now, but we're using shark anchor on the smoke admiral. Now, this sword is like insanely busted and I'm having to waste it now. All right, grab him like that. Wait, what my health? Go? These second sea bosses are not to be messed with. Then again, it might just be that the swords are like really bad because you have to get in close. Oh, no, I can't see. I can't see. Typhoon toss. Final hit. I missed. There we go. All right, Smoke Admiral down, which means we can upgrade our sword into Sadi. And we've got to use this to fight against the Awakened Ice Admiral. Honestly, again, a bit of a waste because this should be pretty easy. True Sword Slash. Boom. The damage is ridiculous. You know what? We're going to start running out of bosses soon. So I might need to start double upgrading. Yep, you know what? I'm doing it. We're upgrading to Saber because I want to actually get to the mythical swords and give them a try. Once per fight, I'll activate the option to like upgrade one time. Then we might be able to get some like actually kind of cool combos going. Like Saber Sadi combo. Kind of cool. I mean, it's good enough for me to destroy that boss. But that means there's only one more left. And he's uh, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That island over there. All right. Our next sword upgrade is Rengoku. Honestly, I don't think I'm even going to do anything with this. I'm just going to leave it as is and profit. Here we go. Burning Slash. Look at that damage. 7.3k. And he's frozen as well. Wait, we got this. Oh, no. I forgot about that. Oh, no. There's a sea beast. I completely forgot this boss does that. Okay. This makes this like three times harder. Come on. No, this isn't fair. What can I even upgrade to? Whole V2? Nope, not even worth it. Yes, Sea Beast is gone. Now's my time to shine. Wait, it wasn't gone for very long. What's that? No! <laughs> oh, man. I just got absolutely destroyed. I didn't even stand a chance. I always struggle on the final boss in this sea. All right, your average capybara's favorite fruits is Kitsune. He is not your average capybara. He's different. Well, there we go. Perm Kitsune, because he said it's his favorite. Although we had to give away the Perm Kitsune, it's not all bad, because now we're in the third sea. We do have the Pole V2, which I can't remember. Is this good? That's not bad. What do we upgrade to? Pole V1. Okay, that's literally a downgrade. So I've got a genius idea. I'm gonna wait till I get low. Then I'll upgrade to pole V1. And then we can just like skip both the poles. Ow. All right, this isn't going too bad. Okay, right, we're low. We're very low. Pole V1. We upgrade it. Sort of a downgrade, but it's fine. It does have the freeze effect, which is absolutely huge for like defeating the bosses easier. Lightning rain. Yes. Explosive cloud. He's done. What? He's on a smidge. Oh, now you're done. Oh, third sea of rough. This time we've got the Midnight Blade. And we're fighting the Island Empress, who I'm kind of scared of because her stuns are ridiculous. Then again, so um, what? I forgot how cool this sword was. Already done 24k. Oh no, I need to stop throwing. Portal opening and now run. 42k combo already. Oh, and then another 40k combo. Oh, this sword is actually, I even be the best one we've had yet. Crescent dash. That's it. No, it's not. Portal opening, please. Ah! How is she alive? None of my moves are on cooldown. I'm hiding behind this wall. Portal opening! Please! <laughs> that was nearly bad. Okay, I've upgraded to Coco, which honestly is pretty good sword in general, but it's not super ideal for this boss. So I've got an idea. We're going to upgrade to Fox Lamp because of the range that this sword has. If I do this... 
but look at that. That's ridiculous. Might This might even be one of the best swords just in general. Like, that's ridiculous. And I don't even have to get close if I don't want to. But you know what? I will get close because I'm crazy. Right, one of these. And then wombo combo. Damn. 25k combo. An idea. What if I go in the sky and then just do this? Oh, I found the hard counter. This next one might be it. She might be done. How has she still got health? Okay, now she's done. That's the final hit. This fight, I'm a little bit worried about. We're fighting Captain Elephant with a dark dagger that has like lightning effects on it. I'm a bit worried about this upgrade. What other upgrades have I got going? Oh, I've got a genius idea. I'll use dark dagger for as long as I can. And then we'll upgrade at last second in this fight so we can use Big Mom's sword in the next fight because we're gonna need it. The next fight is way tougher than this. This is already hard enough, actually. He was halfway across the map and he still hit me. Okay, I'm upgrading. Van Vanda. This might be considered playing cringe, but I call it playing tactical to not lose perms. All right, hide behind the tree. Hide behind the tree. Bonk. How low is he? He's at half. Surely he can't reach me up here. What? He's cheating. He's actually cheating. I think I can still do this. I can still do this. I just gotta, like, keep a good distance away. Not like that. It's been, like, five minutes and he is almost dead. I'm playing a bit riskier now because it just doesn't matter. There we go. That was so boring. But now we move on to probably the hardest fight of this video. We have got the beautiful pirate. But we do have the buddy sword to defeat him. Now, I've got an idea. If I just don't go close, I should be fine. I have, like, a really bad enchantment on this sword. So I might just be able to beat him from, like, range. Okay, what? Why does he have that much range? Stay away from me. Heat slash. How low is he? He hasn't even gone into his phase two and he's only... No, there's no way. There's actually no way. This is, this is good as done. May as well just give away a perm kitsune right now. We need to find somebody whose favorite fruit is just like rocket. The one in a million chance. I'll bring it to his second phase at least. That's my goal now. I don't even want to win. I just want to get him to second phase. What would I upgrade to right now? Bicento? Is that even worth it? You know what? I'm trying it. Bicento. Wait, he's got next phase. I missed. I've got race awakening. No way. I'm not going to use it though. Hold on. Bicento might be what I need. It's got ice on it. Bicento's range is actually crazy. Please, Bicento. He's nearly half. No way am I doing this. This might be the clutchest upgrade ever. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. I just got to keep on dodging. The dodge and weave is a pretty good strat, but it doesn't always work, especially against this guy. I'm not giving away this perm. I'm not doing it. I refuse. He's nearly down to a quarter. Come on. Yes, I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. Let's do this. Final move. Yes! <laughs> no way. And we've upgraded to our first mythical sword as well now. The true triple katana. I've been waiting for this upgrade. I've been waiting for it. These next bosses stand no chance now. Zero chance. In fact, I don't even need to heal. That's how little of a chance that they stand. Actually, maybe I do. I just completely missed. All right, let's heal up first and then we'll fight Longman. Ow. Okay, the burn damage. Doing a good job. In fact, maybe I don't need to fully heal. I just need to get a bit of health back. Wait, because I've already done like nearly half. Oh, no. I did, like, all my health. Is he getting low? Surely. Oh, he's on red. Come on. Come on. Yes. Risked it all there, but it was worth it. The cake queen is next. Now, the great thing about my scythe, and the reason why this is such a good upgrade, is I just get health back whenever I attack. So as long as I don't play like a complete lunatic, this should be pretty easy. All right, I've got her, like, attack patterns down. Already back to full HP. Oh, no. I've taken so much damage. Whatever am I going to do? Let me just heal back up real quick. Ow. I got this. I I'm, I'm okay. Why is it so risky every time I'm, like, using an attack? Oh, she's fallen over. Yes. Oh, she's down. I'm back to full. I'm back to full. This is the upgrade I've been waiting. <gasps> Not like this. What? My health actually vanished and I even had lifesteal. What's the point of having this upgrade? Let's see who we're going to be giving away a perm fruit to this time. Surely somebody likes, you know. Yes. Buddha. Agent Dino. My goat. He really likes the Buddha fruits. Since he likes it so much, there's his permanent version. Now we've got one final boss that needs to fight. Possibly the final upgrade. The Dark Blade. Now I just need to go find the final boss, which is all the way that way. This is going to be the true test. Everything will have come to this because this boss does not mess around. Here we go. There's two! No, 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 no. That's not fair. That's just not fair! 1,000 slashes! Oh, that was a mistake. Get me away! No! What is that? That's not even fair. I didn't even get to use, like, my final move. You know, the final upgrade. Dark air slash. Instead, I just gotta go give away another perm fruit. All right, the final guy has spoken. His favorite fruit is blizzard. Therefore, he gets a permanent blizzard. And although I fully upgraded my sword, I get permanent sadness. 